Today I'm going to be taking you through how to update your SF10 Pro. The update process is very simple. You will need an AR updater cable and a laptop or computer that has enough USB power. But besides that, you should be good to go. So here I have an SF10 Pro and I'm on the Boomer RC website. Now, if this is your first time updating, you go to product up upgrades, install updater, it will download an updater for you, you run the updater and you should be good to go. You may also need to download the updater driver and I do have a separate video for that as well. But once you have done that, I'll come back here, type in the AR updater and the AR 2.3.00 updater should appear. Now here I have my update cable update a cable and all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into the SF10 Pro you'll see it should start flashing and it's found it so version 1.11 it's asking if I want to update it I go OK comparing firmware and we're going to update to version 2.11 the updates now starting and you can see that they've got a red flashing LED on the SF10 Pro now, a couple of things while it's updating, please disconnect your receivers and servos from the unit when you update it. Um, the reason is because some computers don't have enough power to actually update the SF10 Pro with uh, if it's trying to drive servos and a receiver. Please also do not power the unit while it is updating. You must power it only from the HMI cable. This gives it enough power just for the SF10 Pro to update the unit and everything should be going well. So the update was successful. The SF10 Pro has been updated to the latest version. We've got a green flashing light and we should be good to go. So disconnect that. And now I've got an SF10 Pro with the latest update. Thanks for watching guys. And that was just a quick tutorial on how to update your SF10 Pro. Stay tuned for more videos.